Hey guys, uh, Mayhul back again. Uh, so I thought I'd make another video uh, to talk about the processes after you get accepted uh, for the green card or the visa. Um, you know, what happens next? You go through the interview, <clears throat> they approve you, you'll know right there at the interview that you've been approved. And then the process after that is you hand in your passport to them and you have to wait about two days usually <clears throat> for them to actually go and stamp the visa on there, which will allow you to come to the U.S. Uh, so this this is essentially the process when you get a, you know you you've been fully approved, and I'm just going to talk about what happens after this point. Um, you already paid the green card fees, so you don't have to pay anything else at this point. Uh, and once you come and you buy your flight uh, and you go through. Uh, immigrations at the US side of the airport uh, you will be asked certain questions uh, very very basic though when you walk up to the Customs and Immigration Services counter uh, but you will have to hand in the packet you'll get a packet that you need to provide to them and this packet has your um, all of your all your information and includes the medical information as well and uh, at that point they may ask a few questions like i've mentioned uh, once they do that you will be free to uh, enter into the company uh, into the country and it's fairly seamless uh, it's really not that difficult it's almost similar to the for you know on repeated visits any green card holder has to go through that or a visa holder has to go through that customs immigration services um, you know steps so once you're done with all that, you know, all of that, you, you know, you've arrived uh, into the U.S. at that point. So uh, really all you're waiting for at that point is, you know, two things. You're waiting for the green card, which should arrive in the mail uh, about 45 to 60 days after you arrive in the country. And then you will actually need to go and get your uh, Social Security card. So if you want to get a job right away, you need to go to the Social Security office and actually go and get a card uh, and apply for the card. The Social Security card comes within like five to seven days. It's super fast. The green card takes about two months. So in the meantime, though, the stamp on your passport is actually 100% uh, fully privileged, you know, full privileged green card. Uh, that is what counts as your green card for the first six months, you know, that you have it. Uh, but that expires after a certain time period. So you need to get the physical green card in the mail. If you don't get it after two and a half months, uh, you probably need to contact uh, the NBC and try to get a hold of them because you may have had a different address. And that would be the only reason why you wouldn't receive the green card is either it gets lost in the mail or it's at a different address. Uh, but once you get those two documents, you're pretty much done. You can go get your driver's license, get a state ID, go get a job, uh, do whatever you'd like to do or you know, do nothing really at that point. All right guys, if there's any other questions, just leave it below. Uh, this was just a short video on what happens after you get approved uh, for your, you know, for your CR1 slash green card essentially. All right, thanks guys.